Find the general solutions of the following differential equation ODE by the method of variation of parameters. Okay, we got a non-homogeneous second order linear ODE. To solve this, we first consider the homogeneous part. Okay, homogeneous means the stack right hand side zero. So first consider y double prime minus 2y prime plus y equals zero. And we know how to solve this homogeneous equation. To solve this, we find characteristic equation, which is it's a double prime, okay? R square minus 2R plus 1 equals 0. Let's factor, that's R minus 1, R minus 1 equals 0. So we get R equals 1, 1. Pretty much 1 with multiplicity of 2. So based on this one, e raised to t is one solution, let's say y1. And second solution is now same thing, but we can't have same, so t times e to the t. And when we have these two solutions, complementary solution is c1, y1. So I'm gonna replace the actual values later. c1, y1, y1 is et plus c2 y2 okay this is complementary solution and in fact the general solution y is complementary solution plus particular solution and the main issue in this problem is to determine yp because yc is already done okay and note y1 and y2 are solutions means when we plug y1 here this with zero when we plug in y1 means et that's going to be zero and y2 plug in here for y that also satisfies this okay so based on this yc complementary solution then our yp will be a particular solution is we vary the coefficients or parameters. C1 is like some function now. U1, Y1. This is U2, Y2. And we call that as just Y for now. Okay, so let Y, which is YP, a particular solution, where U1 and U2 are unknown functions. I mean, the goal here is to determine u1 and u2 because y1 and y2 are already known function okay that's the solution let that be a particular solution okay now to determine u1 and u2 we plug this y here for we need to determine y prime y double prime so let's find y prime first derivative so this is a product and both are functions. So we must use the product rule to find the derivative. So derivative of first factor leaves second alone plus u1 y1 prime plus another product rule y2 u2 prime y2 plus u2 y2 prime. Okay, so this y satisfies this equation that means we have two unknowns u1 and u2 but only one condition to satisfy so whenever we find two unknown variables or two unknown functions if we have two conditions then generally we get unique solutions okay here we got two unknowns but only one condition that means we can get another condition for free so for to make our life easier because u1 and u2 are unknowns i'm gonna take this one plus this one equals zero that's another condition u1 prime y1 plus u2 prime y2 equals zero and this is possible okay we could have done this another as zero but that does not help because our unknown is u1 so when we put y prime here that makes our life easier okay this way y prime is simply now 
u1 y1 prime plus u2 y2 prime that's first derivative now let's find second derivative again product rule so u1 prime y1 prime plus u1 y1 double prime plus product rule here u2 prime y2 u2 y2 double prime now we plug y which is u1 y1 u2 y2 y prime and y double prime into the ODE okay plug y y prime y double prime into the ODE the differential equation which is y double prime which is here u1 y1 prime plus u1 y1 double prime plus u2 prime y2 plus u2 y2 double prime that's y prime minus 2y prime sorry y double prime minus 2y prime so we multiply this by negative 2 so negative 2 times this u1 y1 prime minus 2 times this because we need to distribute negative 2 u2 y2 prime then what is the third term plus y plus y y is assumed u1 y1 u2 y2 equals right hand side the t to the negative 1 et okay now we collect the terms containing y1 prime okay so that one is here i it looks like this and when i copy it, this should be prime i copied wrong so here is u1 y1 double prime okay u1 y1 prime so this one is y1 double prime with u1 y1 prime with u1 and here is u1 so from these three i'm going to factor u1 out that leaves y1 double prime minus 2 y1 prime plus y1 and this is zero why look at here y1 and y2 are solution of this so y1 is solution means when we plug in y1 y1 double prime 2y1 prime plus y1 that becomes zero this collectively becomes zero because y1 is solution and same thing y2 is also zero means y2 is also a solution means y2 double prime minus 2 y2 prime plus y2 is also zero I mean that makes when we plug in left hand side that becomes zero all that means okay so we are using that fact that's why I collected u1 out and this one is zero in fact you can write down the function y1 and find second derivative first derivative and u, y1 is just y1 okay what is our y1 e to the t and you can see they, they cancel plus in the same way here is u2 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 let's factor u2 out from there so y2 double prime minus 2 y2 prime plus y2 and this is also gonna go to zero because y2 is a solution that leaves what plus u1 prime y1 prime and this plus okay oh this one is gone what is left here u2 prime y2 uh, it has to be y2 double prime okay i uh, sorry uh u2 prime y2 prime i mean that was a mistake when we found the derivative here derivative of first leave second alone plus second derivative of first so this one is prime 
equals right hand side t to the negative 1 e t okay and this one let me rewrite so u1 y1 prime plus u1 prime y1 prime plus u2 prime y2 prime equals this non-homogeneous term uh, let me say this is equation 2 okay and now I'm gonna write equation 1 with this so equation 1 is u1 prime y1 plus u2 prime y2 equals 0 that was equation 1 so this is always the case okay I mean in fact after you find two solutions y1 and y2 you can write complementary solution which is c1 y1 plus c2 y2 and a particular solution is we just vary the coefficients that's the parameters so u1 y1 plus u2 y2 okay the goal here is to determine u1 and u2 and after all this work you can directly come here okay u1 prime y1 plus u2 prime y2 equals 0 that is what we chose then the next equation will be u1 prime y1 prime plus u2 prime y2 prime equals right hand side that's equation 2 now we solve this equation for u1 prime and u2 prime when we find u1 prime we integrate to get u1 so solving means just basic algebra algebra 1 and let's get rid of the second term so in these second terms in both look at here u2 prime y2 prime y2 so let's multiply this by y2 and multiply this by y2 prime that way we'll have same second terms and we subtract okay subtract subtract then y2 here is now u1 prime y1 prime y2 so we have to multiply that minus here u1 prime y1 we are multiplying by y2 prime and this one minus this one they will be same zero equals y2 times this okay t to the negative one e t times y2 okay from here u1 prime u1 prime we can factor that now we can find the value of u1 so when we do that that's y1 prime y2 minus y1 y2 prime equals t inverse et now we can start writing the values of y1 y2 y2 is what what is the solution t e to the t In fact, t raised to negative 1 means 1 over t and t. That is just 1. And et, et will be e2t. So now we can simplify this as well. So u1 prime. So what is this? So let's do inside. So y1 prime times y2 minus y1 times y2 prime is y1 is et and derivative of et is et and y2 was t e t minus y1 is e t and y2 prime okay y2 was t e t now we need to find the derivative of this that means product rule uh, 1 e t plus t e t let's distribute this so uh, uh, when we combine that's t e t e t e raised to 2 t when we multiply we are the exponents minus distribute et minus et 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 t minus plus minus et t et t e to the 2t cancels so negative e to the 2t so this collectively becomes negative e to the 2t equals t raised to negative 1 t cancel this one over t et et to the 2t now divide by this so u1 prime is e to the 2t divided by negative e to the 2t they cancel negative 1 so u1 prime is negative 1 
integrate both sides with respect to t so just negative t okay so from these two equations we were able to find u1 by cancelling second terms now we make first term same and cancel first terms and we get u2 prime from there we can get u2 okay so i'm going to go back and work here so i'm going to multiply slightly different this time i am trying to cancel first term so y1 prime is not here so i'm going to multiply by y1 prime okay here's y1 not there i'm going to multiply by this and subtract again okay subtract then subtract then we get what first terms will be same and cancel so this will be u2 prime we are multiplying by y1 right y1 y2 prime minus we are subtracting second u2 prime y1 prime y2 equals multiply by y1 and minus there is nothing okay we have this now we can factor u2 prime out y1 y2 prime minus y1 prime y2 equals t to the negative 1 et and y1 y1 is first solution is et by the way now this one we can simplify okay this is pretty much this but backward uh, this negative this is negative and plus so backward y1 y2 prime is in the second with negative so backward means Okay, we found this collectively last time. This was negative e to the 2t. So this will be simply e to the 2t then. Okay. So u2 prime is equal to, so this is product, we're going to divide by e to the 2t. In the right side, t to the negative 1 et et. We can multiply e to the 2t. Okay, and they are same, we can cancel. So this is u2 prime is in fact t to the negative 1, which is 1 over t. Okay, 1 over t. Now we integrate both sides. That is natural log of t. Right? Then we get yp. yp was what? u1 y1 u2 y2 u1 is just found here negative t and this is et first solution plus u2 is found to be natural log of t and y2 was what uh, earlier t e to the t that's yp and yc is already there thus the solution y is complementary plus particular complementary was c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus particular is here i mean this one just copy here and that's the solution final